we have decided to create the ultimate Choya ah. Challenge, also ah. called the sharpest maze in the world. This is about to get crazy. Ah. Ah. Back up just a little bit and then go straight. Straight, oh, straight, go. straight. Welcome to the Sonoran Desert, one of the harshest environments in the continental United States. This terrain has become a staple for brave wilderness. From the Gila monsters to the tarantula hawks, even the plants are out for blood. In fact, that's exactly why we're here. Ah! ah, yes, here we go. The jumping choya in all its glory. Now there are over 30 different species of this segmented cacti that inhabit North and South America, and they all have different names. This one, I could tell right away, is none other than the teddy bear choya. But I will warn you, this plant is definitely not soft and cuddly, so you don't want to give it a hug if you're out here in the Sonoran Desert. Now, if you take a closer look at those spines, you'll notice that they are pointing in nearly every direction almost like some kind of geometric nightmare. Oh, but it gets worse. On every single spine is a characteristic called glochidia, which are small bristles with backward facing barbs. This microscopic feature makes the choya difficult to remove once it is adhered to any surface or unlucky passerby. Now I know what you're thinking. Are these plants just plain evil or is there a method to their madness? Well, as it turns out, each and every single segment of this plant is a potential seed for the next offspring. They've adopted what's called vegetative reproduction. But what's with this name jumping choya? Their name is a bit of a myth. It comes from the idea that the plants actually have the ability to jump at their would-be victims. However, that's not the case. But what they can do is fall. So a good gust of wind, or vibrations in the ground can cause the segments to fall, especially in the dry season. And at this point, I want to show you guys the methods to remove a choya plant from your body. But let's be honest, you've seen this before. Yeah, today it's my turn. And in order to show you the right ways to remove a choya, I'm going to need to get myself good and spiked up. So the team and I have decided to create the ultimate Choya Challenge, also called the sharpest maze in the world. And if you look right behind me here, you'll notice there's a lot of Choya. In fact, not just Choya, there's all kinds of spiky, nightmarish plants. These are things you would never, ever want to walk through. But here's the deal. If you were to go all the way to the end of the maze, over 100 yards, you would find a table. What's on this table, you might ask? Well, it just so happens to be my favorite dessert of all time. The delicious, the scrumptious, the completely irresistible red velvet cake. And this one just so happens to be made from my favorite bakery in Los Angeles, Baker's Lane. So trust me, I really want to have that dessert in the desert. But here's the deal, in order to get it, I need to make my way through this maze in under two minutes. And the kicker is, I've got to do it while being blindfolded. Actually, Mark, I thought the blindfold might be a little too easy to see through. Huh? So uh, I got you these blacked out goggles instead. I'm gonna take that bandana from there. I could work with this, okay. I really want that cake. All right, folks, here it goes. If you've ever wanted to see a human pin cushion, stick around for the next few minutes. This is about to get crazy. Alrighty, folks, looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned desert showdown. No sense poking around. Let's get right to it. Two minutes on the clock. Let's give them some spins for good luck. And he's off. Ah! Ah! Oh, that's bad, man. Straight, straight. To your right, to your right. Good, good. To, oh. to your left, Mark. To your left. Ah! Oh, God. Straight. 
That's good hit. Oh, watch out for that one by your leg. Ah! Ah! Back up just a little bit and then go straight. Ah! There you go. Oh, I can't see a thing. Ah. There we go. We got a little bit of a clearing. Time here. check. Time check. Uh, you got about a minute 30. Ah! Oh. Ah! Watch your chin. Ah! Which way? Oh! Oh, man. Back up, back up, back up. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay, Mark, we gotta keep going. Right. To your right, to your right. To your right, right? To your right. Oh, what yeah. is that? That's not another one, is it? No. Ah! Straight ahead. Ah. Yep, side step. Step with your left leg forward. Ah. Yeah, just go straight, Mark. Just go straight. Oh my gosh, how far am I? Halfway through, Mark. Come on. Don't get too close to those. Keep oh shuffling. God. There you go. My, my leg's seizing up, man. Well, we're in between two ah. very sharp plants. So ah. what we need to do. Yep. Ah. You just turned yourself perfect. Okay. Go forward. Ah. There's a bush right below you, though. Gosh, Step over that with your left leg. Ah. There you go. Ah. I guess why I do the right thing. I can't. Yeah. I'm just trying to feel for bushes shuffle. with my feet. Shuffle. There you go. Ah. Am I close? You're close. We got about 30 ah. seconds, though. We got to make it. Ah. Ah. I'm like terrified to finish this, Corey. Help me. All right, this part's ah. tight. Ah! Dude, I'm stuck. I'm freaking stuck. Ah. Ooh, he's gonna feel that one for a while. Let's slow that down real nice like and see an instant replay. Okay, you just have to move forward. Ah! 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 You're right there, it's right ah. in front of you. Oh, I feel the table! Ah! I got the cake! Yes! Victory! Oh, dude, you made it with like two seconds to spare. All right. I need you guys to remove the goggles because I'm like, I can't move right now. Corey, I'm going to need your help. How bad is it? How bad is it? It's bad, dude. Oh! Oh my goodness. Is it worth it, man? Let Take me a see. bite. Let me see. You made mm. it this far. Oh. Oh, this is better. I certainly makes it better. Oh yeah, that's a good cake. Okay. We gotta get these out. <laughs> All right, I really need the stuff off the back. I'm just gonna keep going, man. Ready? Okay. Oh! Alright, keep going, man. Had you ever thought of starting over? Starting to. Yep, that was the worst one. <clears throat> Tell you guys what, I am so happy I wore a cup. Okay, so here we go. Now, as you can see, I only have the Choya left that are on the front side of my body. And this is the point of the video where I would like to attempt to show you how if this happens to you, hopefully it doesn't, but if it does, how to properly remove these Choya with the least amount of pain possible. The number one thing you want to avoid doing, this is like rule number one with Choya, you never, ever, under any circumstances, try to remove Choya with your hands. Even if you have gloves on, as you can see, these things go through boots, they go through fabric. So don't use your hands, you want to use a tool. Now, what tool should you use? Well, I'm glad you asked. Corey, my comb, please. Thank you, sir. No, I'm just kidding. It's not for my hair, but one of the best tools for removing the Choya is a large tooth comb just like this. Work the teeth under the spines until you grab the choy. You could kind of see I've got the fruit pulling up now. Ready? One, two, three. Whew. Okay, that's one. Ooh, this one's gonna hurt. Go! Oh, yeah! Yes! Yes, sir, that hurts. Okay, so the comb, it does the trick. But let's be honest, if you're out here hiking the Sonoran Desert, pretty good chance you don't have a large tooth comb in your kit. But what you might have 
is something like this. The Brave Wilderness team never leaves home without a good multi-tool, and I highly recommend you do the same. So you want to open two points of contact, just like the comb, wiggle it in there. See how I have good purchase? Ah, that hurts. One, two, three. Velvet cake, velvet cake, velvet cake. Uh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Okay, I think I need to get this one off. This is a good opportunity for me to show you yet another technique. Corey, sticks please. Thank you, sir. Now, if you can't find any sticks, just look harder, because you definitely don't want to use your hands, like I said before. What you want to do is take the sticks, Work them underneath, get purchase, and then same as the other ones. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Just like that. But I gotta be honest with you. I much prefer the multi-tool, so I'm going back. Okay. This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> and the final, Choya. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Sonoran Desert and all of its spiky inhabitants and how to remove the pesky choya should you ever have an encounter of your own. I'm Mark Vins. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next challenge. Ready, guys? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, yes. That cake was worth every single spine. And speaking of our spiky little friends that joined me on today's adventure, we actually did them a big favor by helping these choya complete their journey across the desert. Grow strong, little ones. And if you enjoyed this challenge, make sure to head over to the Mark Vins channel and check out my experiment to prove once and for all, who is the spikiest cactus in the West? Ow! I'm just gonna say it right now, it only gets spikier from here.